I, I think I lost her for a bit. Uh, back live again. I don't know. I think there was some... I don't know if... I think there was, there was a connection issue. This keeps happening right now. I don't know what happened there. But I hope she's back. If you guys can hear me, please tell me that you guys can hear me so that I can get her back on live. Uh, there is a real fun part coming in. Uh, I wish she's back quickly so that I can... What happened to my accent? Quickly, did I just say quickly? <laughs> okay, guys. Hello, 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 Mr. Mukesh Agarwal. Hello, Prisha. Hello, Smith. What up, Smith? Hello, 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 guys. So, yeah. I... There was a technical issue. There was, there was network. Hello, Vimi. What's up, bro? Yes, Miss Wilson. Hold on. Oh, hi, hi. I'm back. I don't know what happened. I know. It's been such a long time I saw you. What's up? How have you been? <laughs> <laughs> it's been so long. Wow. <laughs> All right. I'm so sorry. I think it was network. I think it was, I think it was a connection issue. Again. Nothing's not in our hand, is it? <laughs> I was just going to say that. Um, so, yeah, yeah. You were, say, you were saying about the Hindi thing. Do you remember all of it? <clears throat> uh, no, much of uh, it. You, can you, can you, what, can, what can you speak? What can you speak in Hindi? Um, I mean, I can, I, I, I don't put the pressure on me, Rishi. I mean, I can speak basic. I can tell you, like, who I am. I understand it, that where I live, I, 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 I can. What, what is happening? Why is this going away? Why is this going away? I have no idea. You can see me still, right? I can. Can you? It's all fine. Yeah, it's perfect. I can. But yeah, yeah. I was saying um, since was back in the UK that it's funny how it just goes so quickly if you're not practicing it everywhere, you know? Right. Yeah. yeah, it does. It does. Do you know how to say I love you in Hindi? I could teach you. I love you. Um, you just that added that? a lot of respect. Is that right? Yeah. yeah, it is. It's absolutely right. But you added a lot of respect. It apse is like, you know, respect. Tumse. Oh. It's, like, it's like you're mine. <laughs> well, I'm a respectful kind of girl. You are. There's no doubt about that. There's no doubt about that. All right. Okay. Which what we're going to do is that we're going to move on to this just real uh, good segment of my show. It's my trademark. I love doing this. It's something, it's something which I love. Um, it's my baby. Uh, it's called quickies. So. <laughs> Ready? Ready for a quickie? Let's go. It's so so. In while you're playing this, Carly, there are just a couple of rules that you got to remember. Keep that in mind. It's basically you've got to forget what's happening around you. All right, everything's normal. There is no Corona existing. There's no quarantine happening. Uh, there's no diet that you're following. There's nothing. Everything. Everything just in a free world. You're like a free yeah. bird. All right. And this is basically what what does what Scarlett's comfort? What does she like more? That's what the game is about. Right. Okay. With this one, it means that people who are watching us live or who will watch this live later on, they get to know a lot more about you, of you, so that, you know, next time uh, somebody doesn't have to pull out an ice and smash it on the bar to break it, you know, to strike a conversation. All right. So quickies, it is. Um, what does Scarlet like more? Summers at a beach or rainfall within the mountains? Summer, 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 summer. All day, every day, all year, every year. That's what I want. I love the sun. Texting or calling? Mm, calling. Small right. intimate. A, a guy wearing a tuxedo or denims with a jacket? Depends, but uh, denims, casual. Casual and rugged. All right. Pancakes or carrot cake? Carrot cakes. Of course. Okay. Uh, pick two out of the following. Your favorite. Lyrical hip hop, contemporary, jazz, Bollywood dance form, bachata or salsa? Um, Bollywood and lyrical hip hop. That is interesting. That is interesting. I kind of I kind of thought Bollywood's gonna be there, Scarlett, because it's it's been there. You've been doing that a long well, time. All right. This one's interesting. Well. Yeah, it's it's so high energy. I love it. We love watching you in Bollywood. So yes, this is on behalf of everybody. Uh, Scarlet in Jhalak Diklaja or Scarlet in Dare to Dance? Uh, 
um, Charak. All right. Uh, your favorite dancer from Bollywood, if you had to pick one, who would it be? Tiger Shroff, Rithik Roshan, Salman Yusuf Khan, or Ranveer Singh? Um, uh, the, uh, the second one. What did you say? Rithik Roshan? Yes. Yeah. He's fantastic, isn't he? He, he really is. And I, yeah. So and he's one if, of I you, if I have to ask you, who, who uh, would be your favorite dancer, a female from Bollywood, who would it be? Okay, so I know that she's, yeah, it, it's going to have to be Lauren Gottlieb. And, and the reason, I know she's not Indian, she's not, but, but for me, she's my inspiration. So if I ever, um, if I ever am doing an item song or a live performance, I always watch her video right before I go on stage. Yeah, you know, Lauren, I, I, I was lucky enough to interview her and oh my God, she is, she's a cracker. She's she is so good. She's, she, and that's someone who has so much passion and dances from, from here and she's, she's definitely my inspiration. So she will always be, whether in Bollywood or anywhere else in the world, she's my dance inspiration. Right, that's, that's really good. Pick one, pizza or pasta, what does Scarlett like more? Pizza, pizza. I could eat it every single day. I've been okay. having it every Friday night in quarantine. <laughs> okay, is Scarlett uh, a sucker for love or she's just like, okay, let's go with the flow? No, I love love. I'm a Tory and bull and I love love. Like, I, I, yeah. I love love too. That's good. <laughs> okay, uh, workout session uh, in, the gym, uh, in the gym or by the beach or uh, by the sea with your guy or watching a musical, laying down with him. Uh, on the couch, sipping nice wine? Um, that's really hard because I love both. You can't. You, can both. you can't. He's your guy. <laughs> it has to be both because I love exercise and I love running and I love a movie. So I can't. I have, it's both. Sorry. Okay. Um, high heels or boots? What comforts you more? Um, high heels or boots? Oh, I love a heel. I love a heel. I love feeling, I love flats, but I love feeling very womanly. <laughs> Horror movies or suspense thrillers? Suspense thriller. Are you scared of horror movies? I just find them unnecessary. <laughs> <laughs> um, what a sweet I, escape. <laughs> what a sweet just, escape. Just no, just no, just no. <laughs> Oh, so smart. What if, what if someone asked you out on a movie date and then you don't know the movie and it turns out to be a horror date? What would happen then? I would spend my ho the whole three hours in his armpit um, <laughs> hiding. <laughs> so, yeah. And what about, what, about the amount of, what about the amount of scratches that he's going to get <laughs> throughout yeah, the movie? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I'd have it. earplugs in and I would be covering my face. Have you have you ever been pranked on a set? No. Have you ever played a prank on anybody and it has been successful? Probably, but not that I can remember right now. So let's go now. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, this is the last one from the cookies. This is very nice. Breakfast in bed with your date or party all night with Rishi? Party all night with Rishi. It's going to be fun. Also, I don't like you know, you... No, you don't? Are you, are, you, are, you, are, you, are you a morning person? Yes, I am right now. I never used to be, but I've become a morning person. But breakfast in bed doesn't do it for me. I... I I just, if I spill anything, I'd be like, yo, your bed's for sleep. You know, you know, if we go, if we ever go out dancing, Scarlett, you know, I'm not going to move, right? You know, I'm not going to move. I'm going to be so cautious. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm no. really serious. I'm serious. We'll just, we'll just get, a, we'll just get a few drinks down you. You'll be fine. <laughs> oh yeah. Then that, you know what, what I'm going to do after that? I think I'm going to pull out the ice cube from my glass. I'm like, okay, let's fucking do this. Let's do this. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, so tell me about your workout regime. Do you how so what what is it like right now? Right, give me a second because I have a really bad feeling that my battery's gonna die on me. You wouldn't want that. So let me Are you gonna give us a house tour? Are you at your dad's, right? 
I am. Um, so let's have a look for a charger. Okay. So this this last comment, if you can read this, uh, it, it's by Ali Max. That's my elder sister. She says no one can party like Rishi. Oh really? Is that a challenge? I think so. I think so. I think you should. You should. Um, Are you like a party well, animal? Like you go out, do you like time. kill it? No, I. I've become a hermit, and that's not a joke either. I've become a hermit um, in the last six months, most days, and been in bed by ten. I mean, that's boring, isn't it? Let me just. I know, I know. I remember the last time when you came. I think you came for the Jalak Diklaja shoot with Imran. Mm -hmm. And my phone fell. And uh, and I think I think that's when we were planning to like meet and you know just plan to catch up or something. But yeah. Didn't work out. You're too busy going to Soho House and chilling mm -hmm. at the pool at JW. It's because no, it's just because um, I'm not. I I go for a limited amount of time now. But don't worry, Rishi. When I'm back. When the flights are there, okay. I will be. I will There's be. this fan who wants you to take her name badly. Uh, I'm gonna give it out to you. Her name is badly? Tanishka. Take it good yeah, day. she's like, she's saying like, she's saying like, please take my name, please. Z -z 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 -z. Oh yeah. What is her name? Kanishka28. That's her. I handle. And I think I, I'm guessing her name is Kanishka. Kanishka, beautiful. Hi, Kanishka. And there are a lot of people. A uh, lot of people I know. Here, uh, watching this, they're like all like my homies. I think I want I want you to just give them a big shout out. I'm gonna give you a few names. Hi, Rishi's homies. <laughs> <laughs> one is one is Nirali. That's my elder sister, Scarlett. Sorry, what is her name? Nirali. Nirali. Hi, sweetheart. And uh, Max. He's my brother-in-law. Lovely, love the name Max. Um, hi, you, Max. Yeah. Yeah, they all are watching this interview. They're all actually excited. Um, so I'm gonna. So yeah, workout. We were talking about your workout oh, yeah. uh, routine. You, I know that you go running around the ocean right now. That's how you work out. Um, so that's I. Be, I love running. Um, I never used to. I've really had to build my. I'm really sorry that I'm taking you with me. Give me two seconds, and I'm. I will make you stay. Really love um, uh, running. Um, I've built this. I used to not be able to run at all, like 10 minutes and I was tired. But now I can run quite a long time. Um, uh, and then when the gyms are open, I love going to the gym. It's my form of exercise. I don't get to dance really much anymore. I don't take dance classes. So um, the only time I dance is when I come to India. Oh! Um, nearly, nearly smashed a glass. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I only dance when I'm, when I'm in India. So I try and do some kind of exercise, just to, um, just to keep me busy. Are you seeing? It's a beautiful. Life? It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful oh, day. Oh, thank you. I, you know what? That's the washing on the line. I didn't realise that the thing. That's my little garden. See that? It's beautiful. Oh, it's a beautiful day. I, I had no idea that it wasn't on my face. I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's all right. Um, I, so I'm, I'm, uh, drunk, once... I'm drunk on green tea. What were you drinking? That was what I was asking. <laughs> it's green tea. <laughs> Are you sure, Scarlett? Um, I think so. Unless, unless <laughs> my dad, unless my dad put something in it. Oh, uh, you know, um, I was going to ask you this: that once everything falls back to normal, um, yeah. when you come back. Uh, anything, anything uh, which is in the line, upcoming projects or something? Well, I thought I had, um, but who knows now? Everything's been not, everything's on hold. And I'm trying not to, I'm trying not to think too much about it because um, I don't know if things will get cancelled. And I have a feeling that it, this industry might, might take a long time to, Got, like you know get back up and running so I'm trying to fully prepare myself for that um, and I'm trying not to think about it Rishi because when I think about it I'll become stressed and it's out of our hands it's right now we have no idea when this is going to be over realistically and so what is the point of every day waking up thinking oh, when am I going to work again or when when 
when will this project happen or will it happen? Did it get cancelled? Um, I've decided to completely erase all of that from from my life right now, just for a peace of mind, you know? I'm not thinking right. about financial, I, otherwise I'd go crazy. I would, uh, it would, it would put me in depression. So I've decided until we're out of this pandemic, I'm not going to think about it. And I'm just going to enjoy being present and um, eating nice food and, and appreciating life every day. This is this, the next question that I'm going to ask you is completely on the basis of people who look up to you, people who take inspiration from you. Um, I'm not sure anyone who, takes inspiration from me, but thank you. There's one guy right here who has. Oh, right. Right here. You see this? This this guy. Yeah. Oh right. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, no, okay, on it. But I want to ask you: Does this does this scare you? What do you think if you had to tell people? Does this scare you? Should they worry? Should they be scared, or they should just hope for good? I mean, does it scare you? Are you worried? Like what? Worried about like if I'll get it or or what or what it's going to be after this? No, but the whole situation because once we come out of this. Uh, yeah. Once everything like, once everything falls back to normal, it's going to take a long time for things yeah. to come back. Especially when uh, when let's say, I'm only talking about Bombay and the industry. It's going to take a long time for you know things that were on hold to come back to normal. Uh, for, for specifically for people uh, from our industry, where you would know that there are so many people who are on daily wages and you know all the spot boys and everybody. Right. Now I'm just thinking about them. So yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I mean. How would how would how would you like to like you know give them some hope? Or how how would you like give them some convincing? Yeah, you know what I think about the situation in India often, and um, it it breaks a little bit of my heart when I when I do, and I just hope and pray that everyone's doing okay day from day to day. Um, my uh, um, depression is some is living in the past and um fear and anxiety is living in the future when your mind space when you're thinking about the future is you get scared and you get anxious and depression comes from memories and the past and past experiences so it's funny we're we're so all we think about right now is the future, right? We're like, when we get out of this, it's going to be like this and it's going to be, but right now it's like this. Right now life has stopped and right now um, we're not working and not doing anything. So surely it's going to get maybe easier. But my, my main thing that I want to say is that it's so important to live in the now because tomorrow does not exist it absolutely categorically does not exist. We might go down a black hole tonight and life be no more and it has nothing to do with the coronavirus. Um, I might get run over tomorrow. And, and, you know, so tomorrow literally doesn't exist. I'm not saying that you, no one should ever plan for tomorrow because we have to in society, we have to save and what, what have you, but it's really important, especially right now to be present to live for for now because all of these distressings uh are distressing ourselves they're imaginings of the future and we're not there right. yet and right. and and if you live for the now we take one thing at a time and when we get to that place in the future that you're talking about well we'll still we'll be present right then we'll be in the now right then does that make sense and we'll deal with it, it as it comes so it my advice sense. would be stop think living too much in the future in your head because that's where fear and, and worry um kicks in you know like right. the whole so, what if i people what if i can't afford to eat and what if i can't afford but you're not there yet that's a worry that's that's not now does that make sense we have it to does. be it, in it the actually now. does yeah it actually does it does so once everything falls back into place and if i get a chance to come to uh come to london uh, where where would you take me? Have you ever been? Do... Yeah, I've been there. I have, I have my relatives there uh, in Queensbury. Oh wow, beautiful. Um, well, if it, if it, if if you're coming to London and you visit me, then I would take you to a musical because uh, 
because I'm musical theatre obsessed. So that's where you'd be coming with me. Um, I've been I've been noticing that it's not hard to notice. I think I've seen one musical already on your stories, <laughs> Scarlett. <laughs> I'm I'm pretty much recording the whole the whole show, aren't I? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. And actually acting it out in front of the television like a little baby who's so excited to watch things. It's so cute. I am. I am. I am. It's really fun. So I, I don't know. I, I don't, I have never seen a musical in my entire life. So yes, that should be a good idea. Right. That should be a good idea. Then I will take you Thank, to that. That's what we'll do. Yeah. Thank God you didn't like, you didn't say things like what you would probably a typical tourist would do. So yes. Yeah. No, musicals. Musicals and some good food. Are we not going to a club? Are we not going? Mm, to it depends. It depends what what phase of the hermit life I'm in. <laughs> um, <laughs> but we'd go somewhere nice for some. Do you like margaritas? Do you like tequila? Oh yes, I love it. I love it. So we could go... probably play a game and we could finish a lot of alcohol. Absolutely, one tequila. Two What's your favorite tequila drink? Tequila floor. Tequila, anything tequila. Margarita. Yeah. I love a margarita because the salt. I love. Do you like, the do you like it shaken or stirred? Mix. Uh, I don't know. On the rocks. What is that? What does that mean? There are two types. Yeah, there are two two techniques. Yes. Uh, one is shaken, one is stirred. Shaken is usually the one. Oh, in margarita? I thought it was on the rocks or frozen. I didn't realize that there was... Anyway, I like it however it comes. <laughs> it tastes the same. Awesome. You should, you should, the next time you're in, uh, in, in Bombay for some work or whatever project, please make sure that you stay a couple of extra days. I will do for sure. And uh, well, before brown, I let you go. Promise. There you it's go. Got pinky. Yes. All right. And, and, and then, and then, yes. We're definitely two meters apart. There you go. Yes, we are. I want to just, before we end this, uh, I want to thank you once again. Uh, it, it's been so good that you, that you dropped that you dropped me. So good that you dropped me. Phone's behaving very good. It's out of control. It's you. It's not anything else. It's you. <laughs> My phone's excited. Uh, but no. Uh, I, I, you know, I love you so much. Thank you so much for this. Uh, really, it means a lot. Um, and you know, yesterday when I was telling you that as as an artist, if I could do something for the people who are sitting home and staying safe, this is how it would be chatting with you and people who follow you who who know you uh, would probably want to know more of you. So, you know, this was just a little try. Uh, so yes, this is how it works. And um, before we go, I'm going to take a screenshot of this. So you got to pose, you got to smile, whatever Scarlett oh, does. God. I'm holding my, okay. I'm going to take a screenshot, just pose, uh, so that I can post it later. Are you going to smile? Okay, I got it. Scarlett, once again, thank you so much for doing this. I'm going to keep in touch and uh, come to Bombay very, very soon. I will do, sweetheart. I love you too. And thank you for this. It's been great. Thank you, everyone. You. And yes, I'm in London right now. Sorry, this question has been the same over and over. And um, Oh, yeah. Shyam Singh asks, uh, Scarlett, are you in London right yeah. now? Me too. Okay. All right. Yeah, thank she's there. You. That's where well, she lives. Yes. Um, thank you, Sham, And thank you, everyone. And uh, big kiss, big kiss, Rishi. Mwah. Thank Take you. Care. Thank you, Baba. I love you. I love you. Bye. Take care. Bye. See you soon. Thank you. So, guys, that was Scarlett. Uh, what a wonderful, wonderful human being. She's such an adorable human. She's. Uh, I think. I think. I think. I think I've not met anybody who is so pure and so honest and so nice with a golden heart. Scarlett, I, I really love you. Thank you so much for doing this. And guys, stay tuned to my channel. A lot more coming up. Thank you all for watching this. Thank you so, so, so much. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.